let's talk about Steve Forbes just for a second here. Boy, he's making news. Running ahead in the uh, race. Some polls have him leading here, Steve Forbes. <laughs> the magazine man. Ralph, what's wrong with a guy spending his own money and saying he wants to be president? At least he's not gonna take bribes. He's already rich. <laughs> Mr. Nader. Well, he spent all his life representing big, powerful corporations. When they conflict with the interests of workers, small business, small taxpayers, consumers, that's the first thing you want to know. I mean, someone once said about Steve Forbes, he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and a silver lining to his diaper, and that he inherited over $400 million. There's nothing wrong with that if you use it to fight for an average person in this country. But he's a Wall Street insider. He runs a big magazine, Forbes magazine, full of sniping mistakes and uh, selling the editorial pages to advertisers. Uh, we call it Fibs magazine. The key is, where does, he get the, where does he get the cachet to say to people in New Hampshire, I have stood for people who uh, have confronted injustice time and time again? He hasn't. He stood for big, fat businesses, the big mega corporations, and this flat tax is a great tax cut for the rich and powerful and for the Forbes family. Do you know this flat tax only taxes working people? That if you sit around getting huge amounts of money from capital gains and, 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 and interest and dividends, no tax whatsoever. It's at 17% guaranteed to create a $300 billion deficit, and it doesn't have a flat effect on everyone. Not if you have a home mortgage interest payment every month. Not if you get employer-based health insurance. And yet, $20 million he spent in about two months flooding the airwaves in New Hampshire, Arizona, Iowa. And he's ahead of the race. You know why? Because people are so disgusted with professional politicians, they'll almost take anybody who says he's an outsider and who says that he represents change. 